guys, what's up? Today I'm going to make a new video. I am going to paint a portrait right here. Uh, I'm underneath that same bridge where I was the last time. Uh, I painted it there on the other, there on the other corner. Uh, hopefully my painting will stay a longer this time because last time the painting only lasted for about a week. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys will like the video and uh, leave a, a like at the end of this video. Now without further ado, let's start to prep the wall. I started by adding a base layer of white indoor paint, which was water soluble. Maybe not the best decision, which you will hear later. And I decided not to cover the entire piece that was standing there. So Hassad, I hope you appreciate it. I use the lazy grip method. It's the first time I use it and hopefully it will bring me success. It would save a lot of time, although I also like just to throw on the paint and let's see where we go from there. Well, we'll see. I went back home and imported the image into Lightroom. With Lightroom I straightened the image so I could use it in Photoshop. Then I exported the image, imported it into Photoshop and with Photoshop I placed the picture I wanted to paint on top of it added a transparency on that layer and then I could see the scribblies right through the image I wanted to paint. And with this image I went back to the wall and I used the scribblies as a, like a grid or a coordination system because I could see on the image I've painted where I needed to be with the lines. Where they crossed I added this section on which I explained the lazy grid a bit because a lot of people who walk by ask me what the scribbles were about. They all thought it was meant to be a part of the painting. So now you know if you are not a muralist what this means or how you can tackle such a big painting. I learned a lot by doing this, since it was my first time, I, it felt kind of awkward painting this way, uh, but I think I got the hang of it, because you really need to trust the picture where the lines need to go. Of course later on in the painting stages, you really have to trust your observational skills also see me remove the background doodles with some white paint and also on the face and the chest that is because I noticed it shined through the layers of paint especially the lighter layers of paint and I wanted to get rid of that as soon as possible and also not to confuse bystanders on what the scribbles were about first when I started to paint I chose to paint per color so I started with the darkest color and then going a lighter color and then went to the red um, but this approach was a little bit too daunting because the painting is so big there were a lot of places where I needed to paint so then I decided to focus on the right side first and paint my way from right to left from top to bottom up front I estimated this painting would take me about two days to paint but because of the intricate details on this shoulder piece it really took longer than two days and in total it took me I think about four days to paint this entire piece the weather wasn't helping either which you will see later on in this video Then it started to rain and I was happy I was underneath the bridge, so I was standing dry. You can see also the water on the right side coming in. Well, I happily continued painting and I thought I was safe. 
see the wall to my left, which was outside of the tunnel, and got wet. I thought my painting surface would stay dry. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. The wall got wetter and wetter over time until the entire wall was covered with water. When I painted, the paint just dripped down with the water. It was a real mess, so I decided to stop and come back later. So a few days later, when the weather finally changed and I thought the wall would probably be dry, I came back to continue the painting. In the meantime, somebody else painted on the right side. If I had known that, I would have make my image a bit larger so painted the entire left arm of Lady Gaga but now I still quite like it so it's no problem. When I came back I saw some parts of my painting were damaged by the rain. I needed to fix them. Unfortunately because I think otherwise the painting won't have been bit better but still I like the end result and that's the only thing that counts thank you so much for watching this video I hope you learned something or just like to see how I made this mural the painting process all the effort that came into making such a piece and in return I would like to ask you a favor if you want to support my work if you want to see more pieces like this i would highly appreciate if you like and subscribe to my channel i know a lot of other people and channels ask exactly the same thing so i want you to remember next time you are subscribing to a channel don't forget me because i would love to make more of these pieces for the community, for you,